What's up fam, Tark David here. Today we're gonna to make a cucumber gin gimlet, or my version of that. So a gin gimlet, you may ask, what is a gin gimlet? So a gin gimlet is an old school cocktail, 1800s, that is made with pretty much just gin and sweetened lime juice. So the British Navy used to give their sailors rum and they would give the officers gin. And they would also give them rashes of preserved lime juice at a point. So right before they, uh, so they gave them preserved lime juice because it helped prevent scurvy. So scurvy was an old school nasty disease that was really painful. Uh, it was caused by vitamin C deficiency. So the British Navy, right before they started to give rations of preserved lime juice also to their sailors and officers, uh, Rose's Lime got a trademark on that. And they started preserved lime juice and they got that contract. So that really kind of pushed Rose's Lime Juice. Um, so a classic gimlet is just gin and Rose's Lime Juice. Some people don't like that flavor of Rose's Lime Juice. So you can make your own kind of preserved lime by uh, adding sugar. So you would use peeled limes, put them in a container, add sugar, and let it pull the oils out, squeeze the juice from that lime, stir it up, and you got yourself a nice preserved lime juice. Um, that actually any Rose's Lime naysayer will uh, gladly enjoy, pretty sure. But my gym, gin gimlet is a little bit different. Um, it's going to be cucumber based. So I make a cucumber syrup with it. We got another video with the cucumber syrup, but it's a really simple cocktail. So we just, uh, I just pretty much juice the cucumbers. I'm going to squeeze the cucumber juice out of here, make a simple syrup with it. Mix half the cucumber juice with sugar. All right, stir it up, make sure everything dissolves. We're going to use a lime, of course, and some gin. So gin, what is gin? Gin pretty much, honestly, is just flavored vodka. So you make gin, you distill a neutral spirit, and then you hang a basket of botanicals into the still and then distill again. And what that does, it picks up all the essential oils and the flavors from those botanicals. And that gives you your gin. So this gin is Uncle Val's Botanical Gin. It's one of my favorites. And this is also a delicious gin, Bristow. Bristow gin is local. It's made from Caddyhead Distillery in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, Uncle Val's, it may be harder for you to find if you're not in the South. Um, but this Uncle Val's gin, you should be able to find in any reputable liquor store, not a hood liquor store. The one in the neighborhood, you gotta go to a reputable liquor store. All right, but Uncle Val's, it's delicious. Um, it's got a bunch of herbs botanicals. The guys that made it actually made it for their Uncle Valerio, and they infused, they used a lot of herbs that he likes to grow in his garden. He loved gardening, so they made sure they use herbs they grew in his garden. So let's go ahead and get to this cocktail. So, again, real simple. We're gonna start off with one and a half ounces of gin. So we're gonna do that here. One and a half. And then we're gonna do one ounce of the cucumber syrup. Cucumber syrup is fun. It looks dark right now, but as you get some light into it and you'll see it turns into a nice, kind of like ecto cooler flavor. I don't know if y'all remember those high C ecto coolers from back in the day, uh, but that's what it reminds me of. So there we go, one ounce of the cucumber syrup. And I didn't juice lines beforehand, but that's all good because I got myself a juicer. Let me say here, grab it. So we got a juicer. I'm gonna grab this strainer real quick. Still gonna measure this. We're gonna do about let me see, we're gonna do about three quarter ounces. So I need another hit. Da, da, da. I do that sometimes when I'm making drinks and stuff. I don't know why. Alright. So it gives us about three quarter ounces. Right there. Boop. Gonna throw some ice in here. All right, let's take our Collins glass. We'll put two large cubes in here. This is a Collins glass, tall, slim glass. It's great for tall drinks that have soda and such added to them. All right, so give that a shake. So we got a frosty outside, make sure it's nice and cool and properly diluted. I got these new shaker tins, they make a tight seal. But that's good though, because I'm not gonna lose my drink. All right, so boom, <clears throat> gonna go ahead and double strain that. Just cause the mouth feels, you see it's got a cool color, right? All right, so gonna top that with a little bit of soda. Give that a little 
stir. Just a little stir. All right. And actually, I'm going to get a cucumber. I'm going to be right back. So what we're gonna do with this is I'm gonna make a long, I'm just gonna take this peeler and I'm gonna peel it the long way. Let's give us a nice sexy garnish. So it's gonna take one of these toothpicks. Let's just see I got this cucumber like spear shavy piece. So you can roll it. I'm just gonna kind of fold mine up like that. Make a little squiggly jump. That didn't work out well, so. So we're gonna do it like that. Boom. Cucumber gin gimlet. Delicious, sexy. I didn't try it, but it was good. 